Hello friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a generalized way to multiply two numbers which are ending with 5. Okay. And this generalized method is going to be very fast compared to the conventional method and it is very easy. Okay. So the generalized formula is A5 and then B5. Okay, the multiplication of these two numbers is a into b plus okay a plus b by 2. Okay, and then the remaining digits are 25 or 75. Okay, so now we'll see one example of this formula. So let's try 45 into 35. Okay. So here a is 3, a is sorry 4 and b is 3. So a into b, 4 into 3 is 12 plus a plus b, 4 plus 3 by 2. Okay. So that is 12 plus 4 plus 3 is 7, 7, 3.5. So, if you are getting any decimal point here, decimal point, ignore, ignore it. If you are getting any decimal point here, simply ignore it. So, here we are getting 3.5. So, we consider this one as 3 only. So, 12 plus 5, 12 plus 3 is 15. So, here we are getting 15. And then, here we will get 25. And the second part, we will get 25 or 75. So, how we will decide 25 or 75? If A is even and B is even, so we take 25. Okay. A is odd and B is also odd. So, in that case also we take 25. If A is odd and B is even, so we take 75. Otherwise, a is even and B is R. So in that case we take 75. If both are even 25. If both are R 25. If one is even other one is R. In that case we take 75. So in our case A is 4 and B is 3. One is even and second one is R. So the second part we are going to be get 75. So the 45 into 35 is 1575 okay let's see another example like uh, 125 into 75 okay so here a into b that is a is 12 and b is 7 so 12 into 7 84 plus a plus b by 2 by 2 12 plus 7 19 19 by 2 is 9.5 so we have to ignore the decimal point. So I am taking only 9. Okay. And this one is 12 is even and 7 is odd. So if it is even and odd. So the last two digits we are getting is 75. So here 75. So 84 plus 9 is. So 93, 75. So 125 into 75 is 9375. Okay, so this is the generalized method you have to remember. So A5 B5, A5 into B5, the result is A into B plus A plus B by 2 and then 25 or 75. Okay, if you are getting decimal point here, ignore it. If A and B both are even, then the second part is 25 and A and B or both are odd. In that case also, we have to take 25. If A is even and B is odd or B is even and A is R. In that case, we have to take 75. So, I hope you understand this method. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.